Now, Yemen's Houthi rebels have claimed the responsibility for a missile strike on a Norwegian commercial tanker off the coast of Yemen in the Red Sea. Now, the missile attack caused a large fire on board the ship. The name of the ship is Trinder, and according to the Houthi spokesperson, the vessel was apparently delivering crude oil to an Israeli terminal, and therefore, the Houthis view it as a legitimate target. And they also say that the crew had ignored continuous Houthi warnings against going to Israel. However, the tanker's owner, a Norwegian company, has now disputed this claim. It has stated that the vessel was in fact headed to Italy with a cargo of biofuel feedstock and not crude oil. However, the company did acknowledge a tentative Israeli port call that was scheduled for January. Now, in response to this, the Israeli military has deployed one of its most advanced warships, the SAR-6 class Corvette in the Red Sea. The U.S. Navy destroyer Mason had also intervened in the situation, responding to distress calls from Strinder. A Pentagon spokesperson has referred the attack as a destabilizing one, and it has called for an immediate international solution. Uh, they, the actions that we've seen from these Houthi forces are destabilizing. They're dangerous uh, and clearly a, a flagrant violation of international law. Uh, and so this is an international problem that requires an international solution. Uh, we do continue to consult closely with our international allies and partners on implementing a maritime task force. Now, the Houthis are already involved in the Israel-Hamas conflict, and now they have further expanded their actions. And they've been attacking vessels from the vital shipping lanes and are launching drones and missiles at Israel from over a thousand miles away from Yemen's capital, Sana. Earlier, they'd even cleared their intentions to target all ships that were headed to Israel, regardless of their nationality. They've also issued a warning to the shipping companies against their involvement with the Israeli ports, and they've said that so long as Israel continues with its relentless campaign of bombardment of the Gaza Strip, the Houthis will shut down the Red Sea corridor for Israeli shipping. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.